Thank, thank you all for coming. What uh, we're going to be talking about, like Joe said, is uh, on two disease states, uh, uh, the two most common that we deal with in, in retina. Um, one is macular degeneration. The other one is diabetic retinopathy. Before we talk about the actual diseases, maybe I can talk about um, um, the, the eye in general because... I'll talk about the eye in general, so but everybody gets oriented because uh, when we talk about disease states, if you don't know about normal and the anatomy, uh, it will be a little more difficult to understand. So this is, uh, everybody recognizes this organ, and uh, it is the eye. Um, the eye is made of uh, many parts. Um, it is like a camera, basically. Um, there's the front part, the, the clear part of the lens uh, that allows the image and the light to come in. And the very front part of the eye is like a watch glass, um, which allows you to see through and for you to see out. Um, it's the cornea. It's the curve in the front part of the eye uh, right here. It's a very thin layer of tissue. And beyond that, it's called the anterior chamber or um, it's, it's basically a water chamber. And beyond the water chamber, just behind the blue part or the brown part of your, your eye, the iris, um, through the pupil, the opening, uh, you have the lens. Uh, lens is the part where it focuses, like any camera, it would be able to focus images, whether it's near or far. Uh, but as you age, and um, most of us here is um, at a certain age, uh, that, that ability to focus is, uh, gets less and less, and that's why we, uh, we have presbyopia. Uh, that means uh, we cannot focus to, to see things at near, so we need to keep things further and further out, and when your arm is not long enough, uh, you will, uh, you will get, try to get reading glasses. Um, so that's the lens, and uh, the lens is the part that can get diseased. Uh, this is the most common operation in probably all of medicine is uh, the cataract surgery. And, um, it is most common probably because uh, we have two eyes. So you have two cataracts and uh, both eyes get operated on. And that's where we do the surgery, remove the, the dirty lens or the, the mature cataractus lens and uh, put an artificial lens in there. And that's the, uh, the most common surgery. And uh, somebody asked me about uh, the bionic eye that most of you probably heard about recently where it prevents cataract and uh, focuses and magnifies the images to three times. Uh, I only read uh, the same thing on the newspaper, or not even newspaper, on the, on the net. And uh, as I searched that uh, information, uh, most of that uh, news was coming from these uh, smaller uh, sort of public lay uh, papers rather than not really in the, in the big newspaper, and uh, I certainly have not heard of it in the, uh, in the scientific journal, so I'm not too sure how, uh, how real it is, so I, I, I'll wait to find out. And beyond the lens, uh, the, this big cavity, the empty cavity, well, not quite empty, but it's filled with, uh, with a substance that looks like a jelly. Uh, it's called vitreous. And a lot of diseases, including diabetic retinopathy, would affect this jelly-like substance. And we would need to do surgery uh, called vitrectomy, removing this jelly-like substance from inside the eye. And we'll, but that's not the purpose today. But uh, just to introduce to you that uh, this jelly-like substance fills the, uh, the, the inside of the eye beyond the lens. Uh, and usually in your youth, that jelly is like a jelly ball that conforms to the surface of the of the retina. Then we'll get to the uh, area where we're all interested in uh, here today is the retina. The retina is basically the film of the camera. Uh, today I think everybody here uh, understands what film of the camera is because uh, if you talk to, talk to the younger kids, uh, they, they say, what, what, are, what is the film of the camera? The camera doesn't have film anymore. Anyway, so it's like the chip of the camera. Um, in the back of the eye, and uh, it drapes on the inside wall of the eyeball, much like a new wallpaper drapes uh, the inside of a room. Uh, this room doesn't have wallpaper, but uh, at home you have wallpaper on the, on the, on the wall inside a room, and that's what the retina is. Uh, it drapes on the inside, and, um, and things can go wrong. You can have a retinal tear, 
because the jelly pulls on the retina and causes a tear, and uh, the wallpaper have a tear in there, and the water uh, inside the, the eye can go through this tear and peel the wallpaper off. And that's a retinal detachment, and uh, I think a couple of you here in the, in the audience have, has had the kind of, kind of surgery to repair a retinal detachment. But again, this is not part of this talk today. What we talk about today is uh, a, a very particular part is the disease of, uh, of the retina. Um, and the disease of the retina in the first one, macular degeneration is focused on the very center part of the retina. It's called the fovea. Fovea is the very center of the center region of the retina called the macula. So macula is nothing special. Macula is just the central region that's slightly dark on this picture, and that's what you see when we look into the eye. Uh, everything looks kind of orange, and uh, within the center region is called macula, and uh, that's the darker orange area. And that's the area we use for detailed vision. And that very, very center, it's called the fovea, and I'll go into the fovea a little bit, but these are just specialized area of the retina. The retina itself, like I said, is a photographic film. Image falls on that, and the image gets converted to neural activity and gets sent over into the brain through this little structure here. It's called the nerve of the eye, so all the Im impulses get sent through the nerve uh, to the brain. And uh, just a very interesting aside is that the nerve and the retina is basically an outpouching uh, developmentally uh, when you were an infant or fetus. Uh, the brain develops, and the brain then sends out these two shoots into the surface of the, the face and uh, then uh, go through these uh, changes and become retina. So retina, in, in for all intents and purposes, it's really part of the brain, as well as the optic nerve. Um, it's different from the ear uh, nerve for the hearing, for example. Um, but, um, well, actually, that's not true. The, the, the auditory nerve is also a, an outpouching of the, uh, uh, of the brain. So, uh, but to say that this organ here, the retina itself, um, uh, is really part of the brain. So when we do retina surgery, uh, we'd like to think we're doing neural surgery. It's a little bit of a self-inflation, uh, but anyway, that's what we do. Um, so this is basically uh, the, the anatomy of the eye. And then when we talk about the retina, this is when we take a microscope uh, or a ophthalmoscope to look into the eye. This is what we see. You see again, and this is a, a two-dimensional phase-on picture of the retina. You have, you have the nerve here, and from the nerve, the blood vessels come out and nourishes the retina. Um, and uh, here, again, it's a little darker orange, red in the center, it's called a macula. In the very, very center, you can see a little yellow dot. I don't know whether you can see it, and that yellow dot is the very, very center of the uh, macula. It's called the fovea. So this is the normal-looking retina uh, when we look inside the eye. So if you remember this picture, when we show you the diabetic retinopathy and macular degeneration, you'll know what is normal and uh, what has changed. So if we take a cross-section of that, this picture, if we cut it and then turn it around, so you have a certain thickness to the retina, you can see, and there's a wonderful machine that we, do, we, we have. Uh, it's called uh, OCT. Uh, it's like a CT scan, except it's for the retina. Uh, OCT is uh, optical coherent tomography, but doesn't matter. OCT, it's like a CT scan. And we optically cut the retina and turn it around. And now you can see what the retina looks like uh, in different layers. Uh, you have a certain thickness to the retina. From this thick, thick uh, white line, you can imagine as, as the outer inner wall of the eye. And the retina is like a wallpaper. Wallpaper is not just paper. It's, it's a paper, but it's thick and has certain layers. If you really tease out the wallpaper, you can see that there's many layers in the wallpaper. Uh, you can tease the wallpaper apart almost. And uh, so is the retina. Retina has many layers. And you can see that it's represented here on the scan as different wide and gray and dark bands. There are these different layers, and re they represent different uh, neural cells that process information, just like a brain. And uh, in, f in fact, much of the 
uh, processing for the image of uh, the, uh, that falls on the retina is already processed and packaged and then sent by the optic nerve to your brain. And there, further processing will, will be done. But part of the processing already happens locally in, in the retina. So it doesn't matter. These are, uh, this is a slide that tells you what different uh, layer of the retina is. But uh, what I want to point out is that the central part of the retina, the fovea, is thinner. And uh, so it gives you this nice curve. Uh, the rest of the retina is thicker here. But right at the center, has a, uh, it's thinner. Um, so this is, again, just for you to know that uh, this is the normal shape of the retina at the very center, at the fovea. Uh, if we did an OCT scan, or if we sectioned it uh, histologically and look at it under the microscope, that's the way it should look like. And uh, one structure that's uh, uh, sort of important for you to realize is that underneath the wall of the eye, or underneath the retina, it's not just a wall like, a, like cement. But uh, it is a layer of blood vessel that uh, supplies. Here's the, the, these little dark circles here on the outside of the retina. Or the, on the underside of the retina on this image is the a tissue full of blood vessels. And all the blood vessels there, in fact, this is a tissue called choroid. That's the most vac vascular part of the whole body uh, per gram of tissue, that is. Uh, so a lot of blood goes in there to supply the, the energy demand and the oxygen demand of the outer part of the retina. And uh, in one of the diseases we're going to discuss today, it's really not a retina problem, but a choroidal problem, that these uh, vessels from, from this layer of tissue will start growing in underneath the retina and cause problem. And uh, Danny will talk about that. <laughs> 